see where where I can go. I everything that you say in your your live is basically describing me to a T. Love to hear it. Kind of a double edged sword, maybe, <laughs> but I'm glad you're at the right place. Yes, um, a little nervous just because I'm not. Um, I know this is life, so that's why I'm. Girl, don't be nervous. Yeah. No one knows who you are. That's the beauty of it. You can literally be my sister and nobody would know. So don't worry about it. No one knows who you are. I'm never gonna ask your name. I'm never gonna even say, oh, this is the person. But the beauty of it is in three to four months, if you actually start, you start making these changes. I can't wait for the phone call to come back and say, holy cow, I started and these are the results that I've gotten. So that's why I love doing this. And people always ask, why do I do it for free? That's why. When people call back with results, that's my favorite thing about it. So let's go ahead. Oh no, and that's that's exactly why um, I see your lives. I see I've seen like you know you going through this, and I'm like I could do it, I could do it. And but there's this initial fear of just kind of getting started, and I just I just had to overcome it. And I was just talking to my sister about that. What's that fear? Um, the unknown, um, whether or not I will succeed in starting and continuing it and making sure that um, I have it in me to um, not lose track of what my goal is when I do start this because I've started before and I kind of like stopped cold turkey and I gained all my weight back and it's just a mental thing for me like I've had a mental block and um, I want to get past that I want to make sure that um, I do everything I can for my health and for myself and um, and that fear of like, don't let it happen again, you know, cause you can do this. So what happened first off, you're never, you'll never fail unless you quit. Yeah. So don't ever worry about that. If you have a great anniversary or Christmas, Thanksgiving, trust me, I pig out on Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's, um, 4th of July, my birth, I didn't really do much on my birthday. I was in Belize, but I didn't eat crazy on my birthday. But what I'm saying is, is those days that it happens, it happens. You're not a failure. You're not a failure because you ate cake. You're not a failure because you ate pizza. At the end of the day, you start back up on that next meal. You're not a failure because you never quit. So let me ask you, when you first started, how long ago was it? Oh, I want to say a little over a year and a half ago. Okay, and then how long were you doing it? Um, I was consistent for almost 10 months. I love it. So what were you doing? Um, I was I was working out. I had a meal plan, everything. Um, but uh, one of the things that I, I let get in my way was my schedule. I didn't know how to properly handle my schedule to handle everything that I was doing, work, school, um, kids. Yeah, you were living I, an everyday life. You're not alone. You're, yeah. you're living your life. Trust me, I, I get that part. So what, what were you, what all was it that you were doing that made it difficult? Um, I was burnt out. Uh, I think mentally I, I had a mental burnout because I was handling, um, you know, taking care of my mother working school kids and I just felt like I couldn't fit what I needed to do in my schedule and I let it go and I let it I let it slip for me and it was just so easy just to kind of get a mental break from it all and one of the things that happened was I let go of my fitness journey and I've been trying to get back into it but I find it difficult to start and I'm not holding myself accountable for not starting. And I I feel like I just need that positive push to get started. And I haven't felt it in a while. And where I am right now, I'm like, I'm ready. Cause I've had um, in the last month, negative test results as far as my physical. And my doctor's like, if you don't lose weight and you don't take care of yourself, you will leave, you will cause yourself to suffer um, physically. 
And so uh, I was like, okay, well, I got to start. I got to start somewhere. And this is it. Let this me, is it right now, this phone call. <laughs> I, I love that. So let me ask you this. So like when you were, do, what were, what is it that you were actually doing when the, for the 10 months? What were you actually doing that you stopped doing? It's like, what were you eating? What was that consisted of? How many days a week were you working out? That's what I'm trying to ask. Like, Okay. Um, I was working out between four to five days a week. Um, I joined a little fitness camp and um, it, every day was either arms, legs, back, and I was very consistent going six days a week if I, if I had to, and I gave myself a rest day on Sundays. And um, I was like, it was, how can I say this? Um, religiously going every day to my workouts. I love that. Um, okay. Then I started school, and I, I told myself, okay, if I if I could do two to three days going there and then work out at home, then okay, let's see how that goes. And then um, that didn't work out, and so uh, I was eating. Um, I was eating. I, I was put on the meal plan. I can't remember the amount of calorie intake. I don't even eating. don't even worry about that. I'm just trying to yeah. I'm trying to grasp the whole concept of what you're doing because I'm um, yeah. a lot of people when they go all in they're all in, but it's not a realistic all in. So when you're like I'm gonna do three days a week, that's perfect. I got clients losing a hundred pounds not even working out. So if you can do three days a week, a full body workout, three days a week, you love where you're at, the fitness studio, you got friends and you're still going in, you're still having the cardiovascular, you're still building lean muscle mass and you're still feeling accomplished going because 99% of the people on the couch, you're lapping. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm trying to, trying to see what you did and how we can tweak it to make it a real life reality for you that you can do absolutely yes. forever. Yes. And that's what I need to do is make it a forever thing. Exactly. Because anyone can start. Anyone can do it for a month, two months, three months, six months, a year. But who can actually do it forever? And that's the thing. No one has time to work out six times a week. No one has time to eat six times a day. So yeah. my thing is, and that's why I've, I feel as if I'm very good at relating to everyday moms, dads, working people because most of these, I'm not generalizing everybody, but I feel as if most trainers and nutritionists and dietitians are like, you're lazy, you don't really want this, you don't care about your health, blah, 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 blah. They don't relate because they don't have the nine to five. They don't have all these kids or spouses, shit. Half you women are taking care of your husbands. Y'all got an extra kid, a grown ass adult <laughs> that you gotta take care of. So I, I feel like a lot of people can't, don't understand it and I get it. Cause it was my everyday clientele, it was everyday moms and dads and no one has time to eat six times a day, let alone work out six times a week. So when people are like, how many days a week do you work out? I work out six, I can make it happen. So don't feel like you need to go to the gym every single day. If it's more realistic to go three times a week, I love it. Yeah, that's that, and that's where I want to, um, you know, I, I want to concentrate on the eating part because I know that with I could go work out, but if I don't work on my what I eat and how I how to change that because I really let it go. Um, once I was. Once I stopped, I let all of it go. I wasn't moving. I wasn't active. Um, I wasn't eating right. And I kept making excuses. Well, if I'm not, I'm not eating a lot, but I'm still eating junk. Yep. You and know? it makes you crave more of it. Yes. And it definitely affects the body on t taking those calories in of where your calories are coming from. So absolutely, the nutrition is everything. So let me ask you, what part are you, sh what part are you most worried about with the nutrition side of jumping on it that you can make it your forever? Um, nothing. Uh, I'm, 